subject is secure. Data. Hi, I'm Tim Weaver from CMVG, and I'm with uh, Andy Harter from Xbox World. Hi there. Uh, Andy, uh, Syndicate, you've played it, uh, you've finished it, and uh, I think people probably might have been to the bottom of this review already to see the score, and they'll probably be quite surprised about what you've given it. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, I've given it a sort of mid-six. Um, it's It looks really nice, as you can see from this video. Um, but, unfortunately, um, it lacks a lot of creativity. So let's talk about what's wrong with it first, okay. uh, because that's what people will want to be known about. Uh, I, I saw you pretty much losing all your hair over the boss fights. Yeah, yeah the, um, I mean, I mean in, in most games, boss fights suck. I mean, yeah. very, very few actually manage to get them right. Um, a few notable examples, maybe Bayonetta, things like that. But. Um, in, in Syndicate, uh, much as it was in Deus Ex, the, the boss fights are just awful. I mean, they're mm. a real low point. Um, in Syndicate, especially, you feel as if you're playing, uh, you feel as if you're playing a game from the 90s. You know, it's you know the boss fights are so old-fashioned and and sort of in, inside this sort of first-person shooter, they're incredibly frustrating. It's w it's weird, really, because uh, to look at the game, I mean, it looks very smart. Looks really like they got a, well, at least for, mm. for the first few levels, they got a really good vision of the future it, it, you know it looks really slick and yet the boss fights are so old school and kind of aren't they that the, you know the yeah. monster closets and regenerating health and you know yeah it's it's really weird and it runs really really contrary to, to syndicate's world i mean you know uh, as I, again to draw a deus ex comparison next to deus ex this is one of the the best futuristic worlds you're going to find mm. um but unfortunately yeah the, the gameplay is is just so far behind it and you know it just it just feels old um Moving on to you know the the level the level design mm. as well, just feels really old. It's, it's you know it's, it's corridors, you know not particularly well disguised, and it's you know you stuck in a room and various doors will open. You get attacked by waves of enemies. And, yep. you know it's just it just feels really old. There's, it doesn't try to disguise its really obvious game gamey game mechanics. Yeah, I mean. Starbreeze have kind of been here before, you know. We've been. This is territory that they've they've trodden before and mm. and done really well. I mean, what's what makes this kind of different to to Riddick, say? Um, um I think it's it's very very different game to Riddick. Um, I don't I don't think anyone was expecting much from Riddick to be honest. No, I and guess it came not. Out yeah. and it was really good. Whereas this one, um, it, it it takes the Syndicate. Uh, name, which you know, that caused a lot of problems when mm. when it, they first announced it. People were pretty upset that this had been given the syndicate name, and it was just a regular first-person shooter. And it, it doesn't do anything particularly creative with it. I mean, unusually for Starbreeze because they usually make games with great stories. The story in this is really flat. And yeah, I was going to you know, ask you about that because you know you're 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 absolutely right. I mean, that's one of the things that what what which people really noted about R the Riddick games is that the story was superb and, and mm. same with the darkness you know yeah uh, but you, you reckon this one's not not so hot no it's it's incredibly confusing I mean you you, you go and play you, you get the I mean the basic premise is fair enough you, you go places you you work for Eurocourt which is one of the syndicates and you're you're an agent and basically you go go into the competition extract their chips and that advances your own research I mean it's a war is business that's their tagline mm. But you know, toward, towards the end, when they actually try and inject like a, a story that goes beyond this sort of whole war is business thing, it just gets incredibly confusing. And I'm not going to give away the end, but the, the ending is just so poorly handled. You, you just sort of think, oh, I've finished now, have I? <laughs> what, what, what the hell just happened? Right. And it's such a huge anticlimax. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think it's, it's really unusual for Starbreeze because they've done a great job in the, in the past. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what does work. The guns, you reckon, are, are really nice. Yeah, I love the guns in this game. They're, um, you know, they, they just feel good to use. Yeah. You know, when you pull the trigger, they, they really give off a good thump. And you know, e even stuff like the little pistols, they, they f you feel as if you're the they're making an impact, and you can fire them really quickly. And they're just incredibly satisfying to use. And some of the weapons you get later on in the game, you know, there's one where you can cook men inside their armor and stuff and set them on fire. There's there's a a mini gun, which you, you just feel indestructible when you're playing it, and you know the the weapons. The weapons are great, and I think um, moving on as well, the co-op. Um, yeah. The co-op does a good job of uh, of making the most of the game. Yeah, I guess 
I guess you know you could say that uh, a lot of games get better in co-op just b for the experience of playing with a, another guy having that banter while you while you're chatting and just experiencing the game together. But you you think that really makes Syndicate the, the co-op because if the single player is is not so hot, I guess yeah. I guess it's a natural evolution for for an experience like this. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, because yeah, the co the co-op sort of expands what the single player does it does well. So. Um, you know, you, you just sort of purely focused on the guns and helping each other out, and you know, you know, using using your augmented abilities to heal teammates, take down bosses together. You know, one person hacks their shield, another person shoots them. There's a lot of you know, it just feels as if the game has been almost designed to be a co-op shooter, and the single player is like a little option on the side. But ultimately, disappointing. Yeah, yeah, disappointing. I mean, it looks great, but um, yeah, it just feels old-fashioned and very disappointing. I want this dealt with now. Everything's set. We're leaving tonight.